Hi, church family. Pastor Bill for your Friday briefing. We've got a lot of exciting things happening. I want to start off by reminding all of you that on the third Thursday of every month, we have what's called a core team meeting here at the church, usually the 4, 4.30 in the afternoon. I want to let you know that all church family is welcome to come to that to observe and see what's going on in the many ministries here at the church. We had a great turnout yesterday. We heard some wonderful ministry reports uh, yesterday in our core team, starting with Brother Justin talking about how many small groups we have going right now and how many people are participating in small groups. We also, uh, he w reminded us that we could start other small groups. If you're looking to, to be in one or to start one, all you need to do is see Brother Justin and he will help you with that. Also, we got a great report from our medical equipment ministry. Uh, Gracia, who runs that ministry, told us of how, many act, how much activity she's had over the last few weeks. We are running low on equipment. We, we're running low on shower chairs. We're running low on um, wheelchairs. If you know people or if perhaps you have in your garage a shower chair or a wheelchair or walkers that you want to get rid of, we can use them in the medical equipment ministry. Just let Gracia know what you have and we'll welcome it because, again, we're running out of some of those. And I know that surprises some of you because just a couple of months ago you couldn't walk around in certain areas of the church because we had so many uh, pieces of medical equipment. But God is good bringing people from the community that would never set foot perhaps in, in the, uh, our church are now coming in through the administrative offices, meeting the team here, meeting Gracia, meeting Brother Justin, myself, any of us that are here, we always make a point to meet the people that are coming because we know that because they're coming for medical equipment, there's probably an, uh, a deep need somewhere and we want them to know that we're a church family and we would love to have them part of our church family. So a lot of the, we have new folks that are coming that have come through our medical equipment ministry. We heard some great stories about that yesterday. Also, our angel food ministry. Now, if you've been sick, you know what that is. It's where people will bring food to your door. We have some folks now that are being served by the angel food ministry, but one of the challenges we have is that we uh, need more people to cook. So if you would like to be put on that list, get a hold of Ellen Gladys or just let Gracia know here at the church and she'll make sure you get put on the list of contacts to call when we need food prepared for other family members. The last thing we heard in the core team was about our security. Now our security as the church grows, Don Burns has put together a wonderful security team. But one of the challenges that we have we have security members that are having to take two, sometimes three weeks out of the month to be on security. That's not fair. We want to try to have everyone have the opportunity to sit in the sanctuary at least a couple of times a month if they're serving in some er in different areas, but at least to be able to sit with their, their spouse and no different from our, our sound boards and our media, our video uh, equipment. We need more volunteers to be able to relieve those that are taking those positions. So we've been thinking about serving here at First Baptist Church. Please see me or Brother Justin and, and let us guide you into an area where you definitely are needed. You know, we are growing as you've seen. If you're coming on Sunday, we were right at 200 last Sunday. We don't know what it's going to be this week, but God's building his church and we want to be prepared for uh providing as many volunteers to help others as we can. Uh, the Let's see, I've got uh, Good News Club. Good News Club. This is an exciting ministry. Deb Campbell and her team have put together a team of people that will be going into the elementary school starting, I think, this coming. They were there this week passing out flyers to all the parents. Now, we've tried this in the past in the middle school, and it didn't work very well. We didn't get a great response, but we believe that now that it's been opened up by Clark County School District to meet in the elementary school, that we believe we'll have a, a closer touch to the parents and have an opportunity perhaps to invite parents with their children to come to First Baptist Church. So we're, we're real excited about that. Now, this week, we're continuing our series in the book of Daniel. Uh, we have been looking at 
the 10 different tests that God uh, shows us through the book of Daniel. All 10 of them are in the book of Daniel. We've looked at five. We're going to be looking at another one this week on how God tests us with success. And we're going to see that the different tests in the book of Daniel, some of them are for Daniel, some of them are for Daniel's friends, as we saw in the fire recently. And there's even one of the tests is for King Nebuchadnezzar. So come and let us tell you what God has put on our heart about that so that we can share with you uh, what God wants us to learn from these many tests that he's putting us through. Can't wait to see you at 9 o'clock Sunday morning. We will see you then. And by the way, celebrate recovery second night tonight at 530. There's food at 630, the large group. We had 56 people come last Friday. We thank each of you that shared with your neighbors and friends of this wonderful ministry. We want to encourage you not only to come yourself, come and see, but also to invite friends and family. And you, you can come to the small group or to the large group at 630. You don't have to say a word. You don't have to do anything. Just come and see what it's all about. We really encourage everyone from the family to know about this wonderful, life-changing transforming ministry called Celebrate Recovery. All right, I'll see you Sunday, 9 a.m. Can't wait. God bless you.